Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix Saints Row 2. Well, first things first, you got to go and download the XVK link. It's going to be in the description. So you download that, extract the files, which is the X32 part, not the X64. Sure, it is the X32. You extract the XGI and D3D9 DLL into the Saints Row main folder. And I'll, you've basically fixed Saints Row. That's basically what it is. Really simple, really straightforward. And also make sure to limit the FPS to 60 because VSync's crashing the game. So you gotta limit it manually with your tool of choice. I personally use RTSS, which is River Thunder, but you could use whatever you use to lock the frame rate. And then it's basically all you gotta do to get your Saints Row finally working as it should in 2021 with current gen hardware. I mean, it was pain even with old stuff, so <laughs> not like change as much, but you know, it's gotten even worse over time. So here we go, Saints Row. Oh my God, what is this character? This is awful. But as you can tell, it's not DX9 anymore, it's Vulcan. And the performance is brilliant. As you can tell, locked 60. With just a simple trick. The game industry hates me, Kappa. Look at that. We've managed to fix Saints Row. It's running at 60 FPS. Let's get a car. And as you can tell, it's locked 60. Consistent. Awfully consistent. Uh, let's take this car. Goodbye. Oh. Holy cow, what? Is that for real? Okay. How do I... I, I, I don't remember. How to... Oh. Okay. There. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> right. So now we drive away. I almost got caught. My cop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry. Yeah, as you can tell, there's an awful lot of screen tearing. Which is not good, but you can enforce V-Sync via NVIDIA panel or AMD panel. So that's not the end of the world. I just don't want to, you know, get an extra mile for this demonstration. But if you enforce V-Sync, uh, you're not going to have this problem. As you can see, it's locked 60. I'm not even joking. Just look at that. Saints Row running at 60 FPS. No tricks. Just two DLL files and you basically get Saints Row running as it should be running on modern stuff. Look at that. And it's not even putting any sort of load as it would be expected. I mean, it's, not, it's a very old game. 13 year old game. So one would assume it doesn't demand a lot of hardware. And, oh my god, look at how wonderful it's running. 60 frames. I'm just gonna keep driving so that you guys can see that it doesn't really dip. That's the true Saints Row experience that we... Oh my god, never mind. It just dropped, but it was very, very... Uh, it was a very slight drop. Nothing too major. And we're back to lovely 60 FPS. The true Saints Row experience that we've all been waiting for so long. And we hoped we would have this experience beforehand once they got the, the source code back. Because the devs lost the source code. And then they got it back and they promised to fix the game, but they didn't. But thankfully, you don't have to wait for them to fix anything anymore. Because it's finally fixed. And it's just two files. You replace them and bingo. There you go. You have a wonderfully, uh, wonderfully smooth uh, gaming experience. Look at that. As it should have been. All along. Oh my god, this is just... Perfect. I might as well finally finish this one because I couldn't stand the frame drops all over the place. But now it's just... It's wonderful. It's like a dream. 
Like, this is the right way to play Saints Row. Like, back in the day, they would say, hey, you got, you got PS3 or Xbox 360. Oh my, what the hell? Wait a second. Well, I, 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 I'm not sure anymore. Look at that. What the hell? Um. Well, I'm not really sure about anything anymore. Well, some things cannot really be fixed. <laughs> I guess, but other than that tiny shit there, it's generally, oh my god, what the hell. Um, perhaps it would be good to use a solid state drive with this game, rather than an external hard drive, which I'm using, because my SSD is like full. So that could definitely be the cause of the uh, textures not loading at all but as you can tell frame rate still locked at 60 it's not like you can look at the frame time you can see it's very consistent there's no signs of stutter whatsoever it's solid very very solid oh my god this is like okay uh, if we ignore that the textures didn't load at some point it's good enough and I've never seen such a perfect frame rate before while playing this game I've tried so many different settings it would barely run and crash most of the time also if you enable vsync it's gonna crash so I gotta keep that in mind don't use the in-game vsync you gotta use an external vsync so that it doesn't happen but once you make sure to to avoid all the things that can eventually crash the game, which is basically just that, the V-Sync, you can get a very decent <laughs> experience. Also, yeah, make sure to use a solid state drive because that's gonna happen. The texture's barely loading properly, but other than that, yeah, very, very solid. So I think that's enough driving around, enough evidence that it does indeed run a lot better than stock although with a few caveats which you know if if we stop and like chill a little bit I, I assume it will it will eventually load or so I hope so uh, yeah if you have a hard drive you might be out of luck but if you have a solid state drive and this is a very tiny game it's eight gigabyte file so Definitely not the end of the world. Just, you know, move that to your solid state drive and have the ultimate experience. And finally be able to enjoy 60 FPS, which no one until now has been able to. Might as well be the first time in human history that someone manages to run this game at almost like 98% of the time, 60 FPS. This is history being made thanks to the DXVK wrapper, which is a fantastic tool. And, uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna be calling this a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave your feedback, which is very much appreciated. We, I love feedback, so if you have any inputs, you know, comment section right down below. Also, uh, the description, description box is gonna have a link to the DXVK wrapper and, uh, yeah, that's all you're going to need, basically, to fix Saints Row. So, so how do I quit the game off there? All right. So, oh, it doesn't quit. Should be You're right. So, yeah, see you guys next one. And hope that also fix the issue for you all. So, bye-bye.